Hi everyone, my name is Chen Jie from the Chinese University of Hong Kong Shenzhen. In this video, I'm going to introduce my research project, Probabilistic Safe Reinforcement Learning Using Control Barrier Function for Autonomous Vehicle Ramp Merging Control. This project is a collaborative work with my mentor Yi Wei and Professor Dou. First, let me introduce the ramp merging problem. Ramp merging is a scenario where the vehicles from the mainland need to merge with the vehicles from the ramp. This task is quite difficult for autonomous driving algorithm due to the intensive interaction with human driving cars. Human driving cars are hard to predict as different people have different driving styles. In this work, we we'll make a trial to tackle this problem using reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a machine learning paradigm which learns from trial and error. Agent output actions to the environment and receives rewards from it. Agent was optimized to obtain a policy that maximizes long-term accumulated rewards. In this project, we focus on one variant of RL, considering the RL. For autonomous vehicle, we cannot ask the agent to explore the environment freely. Think about you are training the agent to drive a car, but at the beginning, your agent just randomly controls the car. These actions can easily cause damage to the car and result in safety problem on the road. Thus, we add safety constraints to optimization problem to ensure that after each update, the agent will perform a safe control. In this work, we use control barrier function, CBF, to achieve the safe control. CBF was first proposed to address safety with dynamic systems. Here's the definition. You can ignore these mathematical details. And intuitively speaking, CBF can be explained by confining the train of getting closer to the constraint boundary shown in figure. It has a property called forwarding variant. As long as the first states are safe and all actions afterward are chosen from an admissible action set constructed by CBF, then our agent will stay in safe sets forever. The most simple way to add CBF constraint is like this. But this caused two problems. The first is that such a constraint requires model information. As we can see, the constraint consists with ST and ST plus one, which means we need model information to predict the ST plus one. But we rarely have the model information in reality. And the second problem is that such model cannot deal with the system with uncertainty, even with the model information, because the bootstrap will make the model suffer from a high variance when randomness are occurred. Our algorithm, by using a theorem that works for random merging problem with randomness, solves this problem efficiently. Here's the theorem. This theorem was derived from the probabilistic CVF constraints and provided a miscible set for the probabilistic CVF constraints. Note that the eta here is the confidence level of the constraint. By adjust this parameter, we can adjust the confidence level. Like we want to come, if we want to constrain to be satisfied with probability 95%, then we can select it as 0.95. Our algorithm is in an actor critic framework in which actor is the policy, the performer of the action. He chose actions based on the current state, and critic is a judge. It evaluates the value of the taken action and helps the policy to update. The update rule for the critic is quite standard as shown on the slide. It's based on the square root of loss because it's just trying to estimate the value of the state. And the update rule for the actor is here based on the theorem. This looks good, but this problem is non convex and difficult to optimize. Thus, we use linear approximation to reduce the computational cost and get a reliable solution. We use Lagrangian dual problem and KKD condition to compute the feasible solution. If the feasible solution exists, we update the actor by this equation. And suppose the feasible solution does not exist, we update the actor by this, by this equation. The lower equation is a retrieval mechanism. It's like mm, we try to drag our policy back to the feasible region. I already have some preliminary simulated results in the paper, but since it is preliminary, I will not show them in the presentation. So in the future work, I'd like to 
extends our muscle a little bit since our current muscle in, is unstable in update direction. And I also want to update my algorithm to a row operation so that I can handle the uncertainty dynamics with hardware typically. And that's the end of the video, the main part of the video. And thank you for listening. And details about my project, my paper, my poster can be found on this website. If you're interested, you can check it by yourself. And finally, 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 at the end of the video, I'd like to express my gratitude to all the people who have helped me during this summer. Uh, my groupmate Spencer, my mentor Yi Wei, and Professor Dolan. I will also want to say thanks to Dr. Wen Hao Luo, who gave a lot of useful advices to my project. And I also like to thank Carnegie Mellon University and the Robotic Institute to give me this chance to conduct a research. And also thanks to my home university, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Shenzhen, and AIRS that provide me the financial support of this program. I also want to say special thanks to my family, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend Qi Yu, and my roommate Wen Zhanghao and Chen An. All of you gave a lot of support when I was in great pressures. Thank you all.